now we're going to talk about um, shape attributes. So adding comments uh, using some 2D geometry shapes. Let's go to Canvas Toolbar. You can see an icon of this um, pencil. Let's click on it. There's a small setting box, settings box. We can draw any shape that we'd like to annotate. We can, as you can see, I'm drawing many. They are going to be grouped, grouped because I draw them with the same within the same session, right? Um, this is one way. You can also change the color. You can right click, select the shape, right click, and change the color. You can play with simplification so it's sort of smooth, uh, apply some smoothing to the shape. Um, but what I uh, like to do is to load some basic shapes that I'm planning to use from Rhino. So let's choose load from Rhino and then just select the shape and click enter. And now I have my uh, simple black rectangle. I can create copy of this rectangle by using Ctrl C, Ctrl V, or just uh, selecting, clicking, then holding Alt key and then dragging, just creating a copy. I can also right click on it and here at attributes, change the color, change the thickness of the border in this case, and also change the the type of the line. If I double click it, I also open up this quick dialog uh, box or settings box. So now I can also use some shapes for my uh, just just organizing and explaining the script, the definition. There could be uh, any sort of shapes uh, loaded, so even some weird, weird ones. Uh, some arrows could be useful, or circles. So again, it depends on what you want to use it for. These shapes loaded from Rhino are scale sensitive, so they are a certain size, and uh, I couldn't find a way to scale them ever. The only way to scale them, and let's just load another rectangle, uh, the only way I found to, uh, how to scale them is by simplifying. So this scales a bit. So you can actually make it smaller this way, uh, but uh, not, not make it uh, bigger. So if you want something um, larger, you would start, you would have to start with a larger shape within Rhino. Let's me delete this one. You can also add your shape to the group. Don't forget that. So if I put it here and then right click on the group, I could choose add to the group. And then I could have all these objects together. So it's a solid definition now. All in all, I do not recommend overdoing it. I have experienced some difficulties when copying Scribble. Sometimes it just stays there. Uh, th there. There could be some issues, so don't overdo it. But definitely use some of these techniques to make your definitions more readable and uh, organized better.